up? What's up, Beast? How are you? I'm good, man. How's everything? Good. Good. Talk about that practice yesterday. I know you got a little <coughs> hit in your mouth by D'Angelo. Looked up like, I ain't happening again. Just getting back out there and, and feeling that. Yeah, you know what? That's happened twice in my career at practice or uh, during a game, and it was actually D'Angelo. So uh, both times I say I was equally as pissed off. But, uh, you know, it's tough, man. You want to practice fast to the ball and then, you know, keep guys safe, don't have pads on. So you want to try to avoid best you can. But I think I did a better job than he did. And, uh, you know, I took the blunt of it. But it's all good. You know, we'll put the pads on tomorrow. So we'll get that uh, addressed. <laughs> you looking forward to that, getting those pads on and, and getting some hitting in? Yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> it's, been, it's been a long time. Um, you know, getting back out there, you know, calling the defense, moving around, you know, got to get my, my feet back under me. Um, so there is a little transition, but, um, you know, that's what we have camp for. Uh, John, Sean was talking about you know, doing a few more wrinkles with the 3 4. Um, what are your thoughts on that? And oh, it's good, man. Um, you know, as long as that, that word stays in the, in the scheme, the variation, you know, I would definitely wouldn't want to do, you know, all of, you know, 3 4 or even a 4 3. I think, um, you know, being able to change it up throws, you know, curveballs at, at the offense, and, you know, they can't dictate to us, and we can kind of change some things up for them, too. So, uh, being able to play both, I think, makes us real, real uh, tricky on defense. Talk about what it means to the linebacking core, especially to have uh, the big, big man Ron Edwards back and healthy, and, and hopefully uh, wreaking some havoc there in the middle. Um, it's, it's funny, man. You uh, you watch film, and you know we didn't have pads on yesterday, but there was a play, uh, you know, where he he gets on the center, you know, he peeks this way, kind of throws the center back, makes a tackle. Where, you know, here we are, we have we're an eight man box. And uh, we have the extra defender, but you know, he took it amongst himself to go ahead and make the play. Um, it was uh, it was refreshing, man, just to get like a big, wide body, like you know, strong guy in there, and you know, gonna keep me clean a lot of the time. So I mean, we're looking forward to it. Let's talk about Keekly and what you've seen. I know it's gotten faster now, and now you're at camp, but just how quickly he's picked it up. Just you know, from man. Um, you know, right at the gate, man. He's a, he's a adjusted great. I've I've never seen a, a rookie linebacker come in and pick it up as fast as he has. Um, you know, he's a pro about it. You know, stays late. He studies. He asks a lot of questions. Very athletic, has great ball skills. Um, you know, just just prototype, man. He fits the bill, so uh, it's going to help our defense tremendously. Um, you know, and I like him too. He's he's a good good kid, man. Good kid. John has he shown much personality? I mean, is he a guy who jokes around? Or yeah, you know, we've uh, we've sat down countless times and had you know extended conversations about whatever. And uh, you know, he laughs, he cracks jokes, and uh, you know, little, little jokes on the slide. But he he always stays in. It kind of, I don't want to say position or, or in his lane because he is a rookie, but, you know, we've, we've opened the door and said, hey, look, you're, you're one of us. So, you know, we don't treat him like a rookie, and we don't expect him to play like that either. When he was drafted, there was some question as to where you would line up. You mm -hmm. feel like, and, and saw you in the middle last night, how that feel, and is that your, your best spot? Well, that's why I feel comfortable. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to limit myself. I think I can do a lot of things. I think I can play offense too, but, you know, they don't need me over there apparently. You know, you're scoring 27 points a game. Um, you know, but with saying that, um, there is a comfort level. But, you know, right now I'm not as comfortable as I should be. It's, it's a new scheme for me because it is my first year in the scheme and, you know, missing all of last year. So um, I'm doing a lot of thinking out there. I want to, you know, make it more instinctive and, you know, make, make calls fast and be assertive. But um, there is a curve. And I, I think I'm, I'm doing a great job with it. But I know inside mentally that I'm, you know, my brain's really going. And, and sometimes you just want to. You know, just kind of do it effortless. How that effortless. Achilles feel? Felt good. Uh, it fatigued on me late, just because you know I haven't done this much work. I mean, it's hard to simulate uh, football through training. Um, you know, it's a lot of reacting. All of a sudden, you know, you got to stop, or you know, based on what the offense is doing. Uh, a lot of times when you train, there's cones, so you can anticipate things. Your feet are under you. So that part of it was a uh, was was good early. Faded out a little bit towards the end. I think I was about four plays away from you know having a, a pretty good. Good practice. Um, <clears throat> I think I took the most reps on the defense yesterday. I didn't want to come out. Um, you know, part of that is getting in shape and, you know, just want to be out there and, and get comfortable with the scheme. How tough was it last year to see the D give up the points and yards and you're sitting there knowing that you could make a difference if you're healthy? Well, you know what, um, you know, six, 65 games, you know, straight that you start. Uh, you've always been a part of it. Whenever they, you know, say, you know, the middle linebacker, you come out of the tunnel, you've always been a part of that. And it was a tough adjustment. Um, at first, but you realize that it's no longer your defense, and you just got to help guys out, you know, off the field. Um, and then it, it motivates you through the rehab process. Just want to, you know, get back out there. So the off season couldn't go any faster. I'm happy we're here. You know, I appreciate the grind of being back out there, and I'm, 
I'm just looking forward to, uh, you know, starting this thing off right and putting the pads on. How did Thomas look at you? Look, look to you yesterday? Bro, Thomas Davis-like. Um, <laughs> I think he had a play while we ran a blitz off the edge. Um, came off the edge, beat the – it was either a tight end or a tackle. Tagged off on the quarterback. Quarterback still threw the ball, and then he ran and, and made the tackle about, you know, seven, eight yards downfield. So, um, anytime you see, you know, freakish plays like that, you know, he's, he's back to – his normal self, um, you know, he was covering some punch yesterday too, but uh, he's gonna help us out, man. I mean, he's just, um, you know, a freakish athlete. I've never seen any any linebacker, you know, that athletic, that fast. John, it's still, see, mm-hmm. seeing what he went through, how mm-hmm. did it help you go what you went through? Because it's the terminations had to go through three, so how did that help? You? Right. Well, I think we're about, uh, I don't know, ten days maybe from apart from our injuries. So, uh, you know, I was laying there after my surgery. When I, when I saw him go down, we got on the phone and we said, hey, we're going to do this thing together. And it's a whole lot easier when you have somebody, you know, next to you. You guys got the same goal in mind. And, um, you know, to see him for the third time, you know, as strong as he is mentally, you know, every day grinding, uh, you know, now he's back out there. So, you know, it definitely makes you want to, you know, make sure you're, you're there too because we said we were going to do this thing together. And, when, you know, when the season started, we were going to be healthy. What did you learn from your guys? What did you learn from your injury from last year? Uh, the biggest thing is that, uh, you know, we're all playing, playing – paying rent. You know, at the end of the day, um, you know, whether, you know, you're the best in the game or the best to ever do it, you know, when it's over, someone else is going to step up and they'll be talking, talking about the next, you know, big time, you know, linebacker. And I think uh, you learn to appreciate each play and each moment that you have. So, um, you know, for me, you know, not to say that Charles Barkley and Dan Marino didn't have great careers, but those are always the two guys that come to mind in terms of, you know, not winning the championship. So, um, when you do get hurt, you should should be appreciative of the opportunity to come back. But then, at the same time, knowing that you know you got better try to win it now because nothing is promised tomorrow. What do you, you think about the fan reaction one. to uh, the fan reaction to Cam and kind of being a young guy? How he's already kind of become the face of the franchise and kind of yeah. taking over the city, so to speak. Oh, he's a he's a mega superstar um, already. Um, you know how he deals with with the fame. Um, you know, staying grounded. You know, knowing that he still needs to to work and prepare to be better. There's always something he can do, but. You know, it's no secret. I mean, I look at my career. You know, we've had one Gatorade guy. It's been Peyton Manning. And who's Gatorade now? It's Cam Newton. Just one guy all by themselves. And he earned that. And um, I think he embraces it and he does a good job with it. But, um, you know, right now it's just about, you know, avoiding the sophomore slump. And I think he's doing a good job. Just, you know, continue to work and, and realize that there's always something you can do better. Thanks, John.